You're listening to the Options Insider Radio Network, the home of the Options Podcast. For more quality options programs, visit theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app available in the iTunes and Google Play stores. Select programs are also available via live stream at mixler.com slash options dash insider. That's M-I-X-L-R dot com slash options dash insider. Insider. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, stocktwits.com slash options, facebook.com slash the options insider, or via questions at the optionsinsider.com. The Options Insider Radio Network is sponsored by Fidelity Investments. At Fidelity, you'll always get a great value for your options trades. And with powerful investing tools that provide clear next steps, plus independent research and a wide range of investment types, we can help you make better trading decisions. Learn more about options trading with Fidelity at fidelity.com backslash options. Options trading entails significant risk and is not appropriate for all investors. Certain complex option strategies carry additional risk. Before trading options, contact Fidelity Investments by calling 800-544-5115 to receive a copy of the characteristics and risks of standardized options. Fidelity Brokerage Services, LLC, member NYSC SIPC. Good morning. Today is Thursday, November 1st, 2018. This is your Options News Rundown. I'm Dan Passarelli. Our first story today is from Investing.com. It's the top five things to know in the market on Thursday. First thing to know is Apple reports earnings. Apple results are due out after market close, and they will be today's main event. As a busy week for earnings rolls along. The world's largest company by market cap is expected to report adjusted earnings per share of $2.78 for its fiscal fourth quarter on revenue of $61.43 billion. In addition to those top and bottom line numbers, investors will be paying close attention to iPhone unit sales. Growth in Apple's services business will also be in focus. Besides Apple, a slew of companies are set to report earnings on Thursday. Before the market open is Dow DuPont, Spotify, Teva, Wayfair, and Haynes Brands. After the market close, Apple will also be accompanied by results from Starbucks, Weight Watchers, U.S. Steel, Kraft, uh, Heinz, Arista Networks, uh, Universal Display, and GoPro. Our second story today is, uh, excuse me, not our second story, our second thing to know today, is there's a full slate of economic data. On the data front, the economic calendar is busy today. The highlight will be the October reports on manufacturing activity from Market Economics and the Institute of Supply Management, due at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Time and 10 a.m. Eastern Time, respectively. Investors will pay particular attention to the surveys for any impact tariffs are having on the sector. Reports on construction spending and auto sales for October are also on the agenda. The U.S. dollar index was down more than a half a percent at 96.38, pulling from the prior day's 16-month peak of 96.98. Meanwhile, in the bond market, U.S. Treasury prices held steady with the benchmark 10-year yield standing at around 3.16%, uh, 3.16%. Third thing to know today is U.S. stock futures point to a higher open. U.S. stock futures uh, point to a higher start as investors looked ahead at the latest batch of corporate earnings and economic data. Uh, U.S. stocks rebounded for a second day on Wednesday as investors snapped up beaten down technology internet favorites, even as the S&P 500 closed out its worst month in seven years. The fourth thing to know today is oil prices slide to two-month lows. In commodities, oil prices sank to their lowest level in more than two months amid a rising supply and, gro- and growing concerns that demand might weaken 
on the prospect of a global economic slowdown. The Brent crude January futures contract lost 79 cents or 1.05 percent to trade at $74.25 a barrel, the lowest since August 22nd. West Texas Intermediate WTI crude futures fell 45 cents to $64.86 a barrel, a level last seen on August 17th. Sentiment was bruised after U.S. Energy Information Administration data showed crude oil inventories climbed for a sixth straight week. And our fifth thing to note today is the Bank of England policy meeting is on tap. In Europe, the Bank of England is widely expected to keep interest rates on hold at the conclusion of today's policy meeting amid uncertainty over the economic impact of Brexit. The decision is due at 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. BOE Governor Mark uh, Carney will hold a press conference shortly after the announcement. Carney said in August that the market expectations of about 125 basis point rate rise a year was a good rule of thumb for households, and economists see no shift from this broad approach on Thursday. Our second story today is from CNBC.com. Tesla's new auto parking feature to be ready in six weeks, Elon Musk says. An upgrade to Tesla's Summon auto parking feature will be ready within six weeks and will allow its vehicles to drive around a parking lot, find an empty spot, and read parking signs, Chief Executive Elon Musk said on Thursday. The upgrade will be compatible in all Tesla cars made in the past two years, Musk said in a series of tweets on Thursday. The car will drive to your phone location and will follow you like a pet if you hold down the summon button on Tesla app, Musk said in one of his tweets without giving details. The upgrade will enable owners to operate their vehicles remotely like a big remote controlled car as long as it falls within the line of sight, Musk also said. Summon, part of Tesla's driver-assisted self-pilot system, currently allows Model S drivers to park their cars from outside the vehicle in tight spots or to move the cars short distances to shift parking spots. Our third story today is from Coindesk.com. Bitcoin price may break three-month losing streak in November. Bitcoin ended October on a weak note, confirming its three-month losing streak since 2015. But things may be looking up for November. The leading cryptocurrency closed yesterday at 6320 down 4.32% from October 1st opening of $6,606, according to Coindesk's Bitcoin price index. Over August and September, prices had dropped 9.22% and 5.8% respectively. The last time Bitcoin suffered losses for three consecutive months was in the first half of 2015. Back then, BTC was averaging $250 and prices dropped 4%. 2.8% and 2.7% in March, April, and May, respectively. I don't know if the author of this article is an ESL guy or what, but that paragraph made about as much sense to me as it did to you. I just read what they write, man. Our third story today, today well, our final story today, I kind of lost count to tell you the truth, is from investing.com. U.S. jobless claims fall less than expected last week. The number of people who filed for unemployment assistance in the U.S. fell less than expected last week, but remained in territory consistent with a strengthening labor market, official data showed on Thursday. The number of individuals filing for initial jobless benefits in the week ended October 27th decreased by 2,000 to a seasonally adjusted 214,000 from the previous week's upwardly revised total of 216,000, the U.S. Labor Department said. Analysts expected jobless claims to fall by 3,000 to 213,000 last week. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is news you can use for today, Thursday, November 1st, 2018, your options news rundown. 
I'm Dan Passarelli. Trade smart and have a great day. Thank you for listening to the Options News Rundown. To learn more about these stories or any other developments from the world of options, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com, the premier source for free options information. The Options News Rundown is brought to you by Market Taker Mentoring, the leader in option trader education. Get trader education, daily trade ideas, and more with a free one-week trial of Market Taker Mentoring's live Advantage Group Coaching class by visiting markettaker.com slash insider. The preceding program was a production of the Options Insider Radio Network. For more quality options programs, visit www.theoptionsinsider.com or search for Options Insider Radio Network in your podcast provider of choice. Listeners can also access all of our programming through our mobile app, available in iTunes and on Google Play. Don't forget to follow along with your favorite programs and submit your own questions for the hosts at twitter.com slash options, facebook.com slash the Options Insider or via questions at theoptionsinsider.com.